Hello there. Um, where I want I... to start is, uh, Julia, with you, actually. Do you remember the first time you heard of uh, Contrast? Uh, actually, I heard about Contrast first time when uh, one of my friends back then, uh, let's say, in um, told me to trying myself as a new, like a as a new vocalist because. Uh, uh contrast was in search for new female vocalist and uh yeah then i heard from him about uh, the band and uh, listened to a few tracks of course uh so sorry that i didn't didn't heard about uh, the band before <laughs> well, <laughs> i was, was your... i was more, i was more into like uh old rock you know 70s 80s so and uh, <laughs> but you see now i'm here i'm part of the band also and uh I'm really happy to be here. <laughs> when you listen to those couple of songs, what did you hear? I uh, first of all, it's uh, of course uh, was like a what uh, something interesting, something new I never heard before, you know. And uh, I realized like, okay, uh, vocals are very uh, vocal type. It's very very similar, very close to mine. And uh, I, I thought, yeah, okay, let's give it a try. Who knows? Uh, maybe you guys will choose me in the end uh, from out of others, uh, <laughs> uh, other girls, let's say, who <laughs> applied <laughs> for it. Sure. And the, yeah, so that was really interesting. And as <laughs> far as, 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 um, as longer as I'm, as long as I'm listening to it, uh, I like it more and more and more. Yeah. That's interesting because then from uh, your perspective, Manuel, wh when you were looking for another singer or when, when that became a thing, what did you hear in Julia's voice that you liked? Everything. Uh, it's uh, <laughs> pure and simple. Uh, she just covers a huge range. Uh, and uh, this, of course, also opened for us an opportunity, you know, to go further and deeper uh, when it comes to songwriting and uh, tap into dimensions uh, that we uh, we could not utilize before so much. And uh, we were just uh, really impressed uh, with her power. And uh, especially when it comes to uh, deeper, uh, mm. deeper uh, pitches, deeper notes, you know, uh, she really has power behind her voice. And we immediately knew that uh, this would work out, especially also live on stage. And uh, we knew that she had huge singing experience, uh, which uh, is, is an, a very, a very important part. Uh, and yeah, it was it was a no brainer for us to to work with her. That's great to hear. Now, before we continue and, and move towards the album, just one question. Um... Was it always certain that you would make another album or or were there hesitations at some point? Uh, no, there were no hesitations at all. Uh, but at the same time, of course, it was not certain. Nothing is in life. Uh, but uh, we we always knew that we uh, wanted to and needed to uh, come with a new album at some point. Uh, during the past nine years since the last album, uh, this, uh, of course, was quite some time, but there was also Corona in between. And actually, we were quite busy with uh, touring. We uh, actually played the the biggest shows ever during this time period, mm -hmm. uh, which mm, by some maybe was not noticed at all. Uh, but uh, we were, I think we, we are a pure live band, actually. We are born for stage. And uh, especially for uh, festival stages, that's just uh, our world, let's say. And we really enjoyed that uh, that time and uh, have been quite busy during that time. Uh, but for a studio album, uh, yeah, we we needed a, a little bit longer than than planned or than expected. What was the spark then? Was it simply, I mean, we've had a lot of these where because of COVID, everything got locked down and people all of a sudden had time to do something. Was that kind of the catalyst of everything or was there something else? 
Yeah, definitely. I started writing uh, the new material during Corona times. Uh, there was just enough time, you know. We, of mm. course, had no shows at all. Everything was locked down. So I started writing at home on my computer and programming the stuff and uh, putting drafts together and uh, creating the first templates and present them to the guys then. And that's how it started. It was like two, two and a half years ago, I, I suppose, that I started writing with the, with the new songs. And uh, yeah, then I needed to kick some asses for the other guys who were still in <laughs> Corona mode. Uh, but uh, finally, they, they caught up and uh, it turned out very well. Did you know at that point that you would have a different singer? I don't know the timeline exactly when Julia uh, you joined, but did you know uh, Julia was going to be the singer when you wrote those songs? Um, it was during that time that uh, we uh, we had the change in lineup. Uh, so I'm not sure if I already started uh, writing uh, before Julia came on board, but uh, it was uh, very very early afterwards that uh, we had the change in the lineup and uh, Julia came on board and we also had a few songwriting sessions together. So from, for you, Julia, when you heard that you were accepted into the band and then you were invited to these songwriting sessions, what, what was your mindset going into those uh, sessions? Uh, actually, um, my... Uh... I'd say input in, in uh, songwriting was uh, not um, mainly not during creating the songs, but uh, during recording the songs okay. because uh, I'm not I'm not a creator in this case. I'm more deliverer, you know, and a mm. performer. So I for. Mm. For having some ideas of my own, I need already some sketches, some ideas uh, prepared by someone, you know, for I could catch the direction and like uh, join in, into it, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, sometimes it's just uh, I had already uh, I have vocal ideas, vocal line ideas and uh, roughly arrangement uh, for understanding where to go, you know, yeah. with uh, voice. And then, yeah, then my my brain starts to create something. <laughs> <laughs> so, so main uh, input uh, guys uh, did and uh, themselves, and I put my part in um, during, mostly during recording already. Okay. And... What I find interesting is in the, since the last album, a lot of uh, the musical landscape has changed, or at least to some extent, there's there's been a, uh, a lot of music that has come out since then. Uh, so ha ha have there been new influences or and is it still wide open? What, what might influence the band? Yeah, definitely. Uh, I mean, first of all, we are always trying to push the borders further out, you know, uh, we are not uh, we are not limited to every time creating the exact same thing. Uh, yeah. It's quite the opposite. We are uh, very colorful and are influenced by a lot of different genres and styles and elements. And uh, this is uh, definitely reflected very very well on uh, on Mad World. Uh, I especially. I remember I listened a lot to electronic stuff back then, also to some pop tunes and hip hop and whatever. Uh, and uh, you can definitely notice this when you compare it to the old uh, Contrast albums. Uh, I actually uh, really enjoyed uh, experimenting with uh, synths and sound programmings a lot, which I did not do so much in the past. And you uh, can witness this uh, on the album. Mm. And Julia just spoke about her vocal lines. Is is there maybe uh, a vocal line in particular on one of the songs that you really like, or a melody, or something that really stood out to you? Um, let's say, for example, for the song uh, "The End," and uh, I can't control it. Uh, mm. I really, really love, uh, and even. Some part uh, in uh, pulling, yeah, it was 
I would say it was my ideas uh, of melody, which in the end was approved uh, by guys, and uh, they they left it in the song as as I felt it, as I created, and uh, I guess it's my favorite part because uh, you need to have strong voice for performing uh, these parts, really, especially in I uh, can't control it. Uh, it's one of my favorite place to sing <laughs> live of course what, what, what if I, you mentioned live and when then whenever i listen to uh contrast music it, 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 and especially this album it almost feels like you have the my uh live show in mind when you write these songs so like certain uh bits of the so like the, the end the core uh, that that uh, line of the i can't remember what the exact line was but something like today's uh best day or uh yeah. I'm yeah. sorry, this I thought I'm blanking on that. That's it. This might be the best last day of our life. Yeah. Yes, exactly. As something like that, that that would be uh, really great at a festival when when the sun is going down, everybody's uh, dancing, and every those kind of things. Do you think about that uh, when you write? Yeah, actually, I must correct myself. Uh, the line is: uh, "This must be the best <laughs> final day of our lives." I'm sorry about that. Yeah uh but yeah definitely we always have uh our live show in mind uh not only uh when rehearsing for it or, or before a live show but of course also when we create the music because it needs to work out live you know uh you cannot just uh create anything and then expect people to to go off and to to march around to your music it needs to work and uh that's uh uh that's always a, a, an issue, of course, uh, as well for the instrumental as also for the lyrical songwriting. Yep. When it comes to the lyrics, then, is that uh, a personal thing? Do you do that collectively? Where, where do the stories come from? Uh, the lyrics are mainly on Stefan, our okay. uh, male vocalist. Uh, in this case, we also worked with an American native uh, English speaking uh so that everything is really properly written and uh yeah it's, uh, i think he's he's very creative in uh in this uh, uh in his approaches and in the storytelling and uh, of course in the studio then we we fine tune everything together uh and especially julia also of course uh, has to bring a lot of input what uh, when it comes to to her voice and uh, you know the exact wordings have to be uh have to be uh, t uh put in place uh, accordingly so that it's being able to to record it properly yeah because that's an interesting yeah. element i think um because there's a lot of personality in the, in those lyrics and that there's there's some uh, comedy there's some you have to be able to kind of convey that, those emotions so for julia what what was it like for you to kind of tell those stories and kind of make them believable if that makes sense first of all you should believe in the in them <laughs> like yourself so mm. every song i'm performing or recording or no matter it's anyways performing uh you just uh, should put yourself into the song story and imagine yourself there and uh, okay um uh, reflecting this message feeling uh, to the audience because uh, you you cannot lie to audience uh, mm -hmm. people feel it immediately if it's something not sincere you know not not like from from the heart yeah. really when it's something false so uh, yeah it's uh, everything through yourself it's not only about uh, singing I can say it's also about playing and uh, no matter what you do actually mm -hmm. if you deliver some your yeah, product and to the world yeah. yeah kind of to round off is is this album is this kind of the start of the the new chapter for the band and and do you see yourself uh writing more music as as we go on how do you see the the future it definitely uh, started a new chapter for us not only because we had a change in lineup also during that mm. time but uh also in terms of style and uh we, uh, especially me, I, I think we talked about it before, we, we were influenced by a lot of uh, new genres, new elements, 
uh, that we did not utilize so much in the past. And uh, you can witness this on Madworld on the album. Uh, it has a lot more electronic uh, influences. Uh, I worked a lot with synths and stuff, sound programming, and the likes. And uh, uh, I think it's uh, built a nice bridge uh, when you compare it from to the old uh, contrast albums um, to to this style now. Uh, this uh, album built a nice bridge, uh, and I I'm very sure that uh, we will not take so much time. Uh, <laughs> uh, until the next uh, album will be uh, will be finalized. Uh, Maya, thank you so much for taking the time.